Hello guys, this is Vaish. We are starting our new series, uh, UPSC 2017 MCQ 1 to 10. So it will go in 10 episodes uh, and uh, you should make sure that you watch 2019 first and then 18 and then 17. Okay, that's why we are uploading it in the reverse way also because that is how the relevance will be in the upcoming exams. Okay, and there has been instances where questions from 2011-12 has directly repeated in 2017-18. Okay, also there are uh, same questions which you can find in both 2015 and 16. Only the options they tweaked it a little bit. So questions keep repeating. So each mark, each question is a value for you. Okay, no one is there who will be topper of prelims or will get all the questions right only thing you have to write is 60 questions 60 questions right is 120 marks without any negativity you will clear this cutoff okay and after that your mark nobody asks and nobody cares okay it is not part of your ranking so please see to it that you learn the skill okay and even if you feel like you have by heart all the questions from some question bank that is not enough you have to learn how we teach you with the most analytical way okay to learn the art of elimination so please see to it that the series is taken seriously and you watch everything without skipping okay because we are making at the most shortest kind of duration for everything one mcq are taking maximum two minutes so it will be 20 minutes for 10 mcqs so like that we are doing all the episodes so please do it daily we are uploading it daily don't pile it up and then uh, do it in a very uh, unorganized way okay then you will regret it after the prelims exam so starting with today's questions, 2017 was very easy paper compared to the 2019-18 and all. And also this was the time until 2017 questions used to come directly from textbooks. Okay, it is in 2018 that that concept went away and now textbook questions are coming very, very less. So seeing these uh, questions like private member bill, which is a very uh, basic thing which you should know. And it is in news also, it is there in Lakshmikant also. So first statement, the private member bill is a bill presented by a member of parliament who is not elected but only nominated by the president of India. Okay, so this itself is a wrong thing. If you know basics of Lakshmikant, basics of polity, a private member is what? Private member is someone who is not a minister. That means all the other MPs are private members. That So this is a wrong statement. It's not like elected or nominated. There is no separation like that. So this is a false statement. Private member is a member who is not a minister. Recently, a private member bill has been passed in the parliament of India for the first time in its history. So this question when it was asked in 2017, that time this statement is wrong for two reasons. Okay, first thing like it was a bill was passed. Okay, that time it was not passed. Like every time bills are raised by many private members, but uh, usually it doesn't pass. Okay, because they don't have the power, they don't have the support and it doesn't pass. Okay, but lot and lot of bills are raised, but it doesn't become an act. So in total, I think only 14, 15 uh, bills have been passed till now in the history of uh, India, independent India. So again, uh, this is uh, wrong. Okay, because if even if it had got passed that time, this first time in history is again wrong. Okay, already 14, 15 uh, bills had uh, passed. Okay, so private member, as I told, anyone who is not a minister is a uh, this thing, private member. And its introduction needs one month uh, notice, uh, unlike the other bills which can be done faster. And in the last 70 years, only 50 private bills have been uh, made a law okay made an act so both are false and this is very easy question which you are expected to solve okay so it's two marks and you should get it so this is the news uh, item that came that time okay uh, or i think to the 19 uh, news article this is so this is like 28 private bills introduced okay so this introduced is not a big deal anybody can introduce a bill but it doesn't uh, finally pass okay then this was a controversial question that time but now because we have the answer key we know the answer but at that time it was very controversial and debatable okay so with reference to the difference between culture of Rigvedic Aryans and Indus Valley people okay so these are just two chapters in your NCRT and R.S. Sharma they have just uh, taken common things and made three statements so Rigvedic Aryans use the coat of mail and helmet in warfare whereas the uh, Indus Valley civilization did not leave any evidence of using them okay so this is like uh, even if you go by movies logic and all it may not work so, but uh, you have to know these things, okay, like uh, in Rigvedic Aryan times, warfare was there and these things were there. So, this is actually a true statement, but in the Valley civilization, such sort was not there, okay, even war is not uh, in that form, okay, it will be in other uh, localized or traditional ways, if there is a conflict. Uh, Rigvedic Aryans uh, knew gold, silver and copper, whereas in the Valley people knew only copper and iron. So, this word itself will help you solve the answer and tell like this is a... Uh, wrong statement okay because uh, uh, Indus Valley is a bronze age civilization where bronze is major and they knew uh, I think gold and silver and all but uh, iron is not there iron is later and that is when iron age civilization will begin so with that one word you can come to the answer and it's a very basic thing and this is the controversial statement which came like Rigvedic Aryans had domesticated the horse which is true this part is true whereas there is no evidence of Indus Valley people having been aware of the animal so according to UPSC, this is true. Okay, like industrial people were not aware of the 
horse but in ncrts and many many textbooks and many historians have been debating like one of the uh, fossil remains which was there uh, uh, around gujarat area it is actually uh, of horse okay so horse like animal so because it is in that format upsc have decided to tell that in this valley uh, people were not aware of the horse okay so it has to be considered true because the answer key is like that okay uh, one and three only so once you see something from upsc then you have to by heart that only okay you cannot go with other logic and you cannot argue uh, based on that okay so in in this valley people did not know about the horses that is what you have to study so if you see here uh, this rigvedic people used all these things helmets and all these things these are again keywords which you can find in r sharma textbook okay i have taught you already all these things so this is just two lines i have taken and uh, if you see harappan women know uh, new everything gold silver copper bronze semi precious stones but uh, not iron okay and then uh, aryans had superior weapons uh, swift horses so they knew the horses but ibc uh, don't know the horses okay and again don't go by movie logic as i told because that mohanjodaro movie came during that time and in that movie the actor is playing around with lot of horses so everybody uh, thought like okay this is a true story but please don't go that movie had a thousand kind of mistakes okay if you are good in history you will know that movie was a blunder okay when it comes to fact so please don't uh, go with the movie logic question number 3 recognition of prior learning scheme is sometimes mentioned in the news with reference to so this was at uh, that time in news because of the skill ministry coming in not and it is uh, not a very difficult one if you see the options okay so if you see certifying the skills acquired by construction workers through traditional channels enrolling the persons in universities for distant learning program okay so this is something which they just made up okay reserving some skilled jobs to rural and urban uh, poor in some public, uh, public sector undertaking this is also wrong certifying the skills acquired by trainees under the uh, national skill development uh, program okay so this is like for the trainees but that is not the true thing this uh, recognition of prior learning means something you have already you already know the uh, uh, skill or the uh, uh, work which you are doing okay so certifying the skills acquired by construction workers through traditional channels meaning you are a unorganized kind of worker but your thing is not recognized so they will get a certificate from the uh, ministry okay so that is why that was a uh, wording which is there in the website itself and it's there in uh, different uh, newspapers also this is one of the indian express article so certifying the skill acquired by workers in unorganized sectors and here it's again mentioned somewhere about the uh, workers at construction site so that is uh, there in their website also but i have taken just a clearer version of it so this one i don't think again this will repeat because this was popular that time okay now because new new schemes are there upsc will not repeat the same old scheme in the questions but at least you should know this now this is a very easy and uh, repeated question by upsc Uh, and you have to do it if you see this uh, some, uh, where is it east to eastern ghats and uh, western ghats okay you know like india's shape is like this in south and so uh, western ghats are there and eastern ghats are there so they will meet at some point so that will be around kerala tamil nadu karnataka border that everybody will know but uh, where exactly because all these things are almost there only like sheshachalam is in uh, where it is a uh, andhra pradesh uh, nagar hole is in karnataka and nallamala is again andhra pradesh but towards the coastal area and uh, this satyamangalam is where in the nilgiri okay and that is the correct answer for it and upsc had repeated this question and that time instead of these things they put uh, the biosphere names okay and that time the answer was nilgiri okay so nilgiri or satyamangalam whichever comes it is the meeting point so you can see uh, like this tiger reserves uh, all the tiger reserves uh, around 50 tiger reserves are there upsc can ask like which is the latest one which is which got added okay that because that was in news 2 3 years back and uh, uh, the locations okay or arranged from north to south or from older to new which is the first one which is the latest one you basically can form any question so please have reference to this we already have a map series also go and watch them for some of the types of questions okay so here if you see this point okay this is the nilgiri point and that is where satyamangalam forest is also there where uh, the sandalwood smuggling and all those things used to happen uh, long time back so uh, this one you have to uh, at least now see to it that upsc will ask you in detail so you have to learn maps very seriously okay last 2 3 years they are not asking bookish kind of thing they are asking very weird weird map question but still if they go back to this trend you have to know it okay so these are again list of all the hills if you can see and uh, hills uh, also like this uh, npjs we have already taught you a trick okay this uh, nallamala palkonda javadi and shevroy these four things we have told you npjs if you by heart that at least that four will come because upsc in the 90s have asked those four hills once okay that is why i have taught the trick for that but others also you have to know especially when it's nilgiri anamalai and agastya malai biosphere reserve will be here cardamom will see will be here that this also you can study nac okay nilgiri anamalai and cardamom nac okay 
then shesha chalam hills it's actually written here but it is here okay it is in uh, andhra and again lot of ranges are there you can see here uh, mount abu is there which is important for jainism also uh, aravalli range is there okay because you have asked like western ghats pass through how many states eastern ghats pass through how many state or uh, eastern himalayas pass through how many states that kind of questions they ask so you have to have a rough idea of the map now some of the implications of equality in society is the absence of this is a very common sensical kind of question okay like equality means what every should, should everyone should be equal no one should be more powerful or have any special benefits so the first option is itself is privileges absence of privileges nobody has any special privileges or rights that is called equality okay and if you remember 2019 question when i showed you there was a thing called absence of restraint and what was that that was liberty okay so they have something in bucket and they asked it in the next year okay so absence of uh, privileges is equality absence of restraint is liberty okay so like that maybe next time based on competition or ideology they'll put out something else okay so see to it that all your previous year questions are thoroughly done so that your next year's question will be easy now consider the following statement in respect of uh, trade related analysis of fauna and flora in commerce okay a very weird uh, full form for this traffic okay which was asked for the first time in upsc and that time again it was confusing for the students because uh, nobody prepared for it okay so traffic is a bureau under unep this is wrong traffic is actually a group of uh, things uh, uh, bodies coming together especially iucn and uh, uh, wwf so this is wrong the mission of traffic is to ensure that trade in wild plants and animals is not a threat to the uh, conservation of nature so this one is actually the same uh, uh, theme or mission as sites also so many people in the exam hall thought that this is about sites they just put the body name here so we are they are confusing us so this is wrong but actually this is true okay traffic also is doing the same thing only so that was something a new learning for everyone so see to it that you don't misunderstand like that okay you will because that is a good way of thinking like this is actually the mission of sites then why are they putting traffic here but uh, unfortunately that was uh, not the way uh, which will work here okay so here the answer will be uh, two only okay and details about the tri uh, traffic it's there now everywhere because now every coaching institute is teaching it if you go to their uh, page you will see okay here this established in 1976 developed into a global network and uh, governed by traffic committee steered by number of members like wwf and iucn and it is again to wildlife trade related priorities then uh, see uh, works in close cooperation with the secretariat of the sites okay so it works with the sites also the traffic vision is of a world in which trade in wild plants and animals is managed at sustainable levels without damaging the integrity of ecological systems and in such a manner that it makes a significant contribution to human needs support local things and all these things so it's a very basic thing just like sites only but it's uh, not under the unep it is under uh, this thing okay so what you have to do is now you have to study something about unep also so this something about the sites also and these bodies also because whenever some keywords come that will become priority for uh, upsc okay already detailed questions come about iucn and all but still okay uh, which principle among the following was added to the directive principle of state policy by the 42nd amendment so this is what i told bookish questions was like last time seen in 2017 okay direct bookish question where you can you will by heart this because in lakshmi kant it's given but the problem is about the recalling okay whether you can recall it in the exam hall so that is why you have to make some tricks and all for that so these four articles uh, were actually uh, by the 42nd amendment 1976 article 39 39a 43a and 48a okay so numbers first you by heart and then you don't have to buy out all the articles but because this is added especially extra okay after that 44th amendment also have added one or two and around i think 86th amendment one more one more came so like the addition which comes becomes important for you okay or the usual one it's okay if you don't know the numbers also so here if you see to secure opportunity for healthy development of children to promote equal justice and to provide free legal aid okay to take steps to secure the participation of workers in the management okay this one this is the answer and uh, to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard forest and wildlife okay so you can think in the other way like what will be there which immediately in independence will not be there and later indians should have thought like this also should have to be added okay so think of that kind of thing like workers participating in the uh, management environment protection these are all like indians did not think that time okay so little late it was added and free legal aid to the poor so it's something like a very good thing for people so think in that aspect okay opportunities for healthy development of children okay so good health free legal aid participation of workers in management and environment protection so that that kind of things were added by the 42nd amendment now this one again straight forward easy because the options were easy okay like which one of the following is correct so this is not like a bookish thing but you have to just analyze the state options and see which one is uh, sounding good okay like a csat question rights are claims of the state against the citizens 
okay claims of the state against state against citizen will not be called right right is something which citizen should have benefit okay so that will be become false now rights are privileges which are incorporated in the constitution of a state again in previously also i told you privileges means something is given specially for someone okay so that cannot be true then rights are claims of the citizens uh, against the state this looks true okay citizens against the state whenever state is doing something to protect themselves they have to have a power that is called their rights then rights are privileges again privileges of a few citizens so it becomes a blunder so c is the right answer here so this kind of question 2017 it was easy in exam hall you just had to take one minute or one and a half minute to just read it and understand which option suits best okay and whichever feels like your gut feeling you have to go for it don't overthink because if you overthink you will feel like the other one is also true okay please don't do that which one of the following gives global gender gap this is asked i think three times upsc has the same report okay every year one report will be there definitely in the last many years it has happened but the same index they have asked repeatedly okay so it's become important but i don't know why they are asking and it is a world economic forum and so as that time when india's rank was very uh, better i think uh, now it is india's rank is uh, 112th in 153 countries and 2020 okay latest news i have taken it was 108th in the previous edition and i think 2016 time it was even better okay some um, 98 rank or something but i don't remember the number but now it's going bad okay this uh, gender gap so these are the dimensions uh, because uh, this is something which you basically can ask okay like last time they did it like one year they asked global hunger index who releases next year they asked what are the dimensions used to measure that index so these are the four dimensions used for uh, measuring this index you can remember by, by the keyword heap okay h e e p already vice ai students will get a revision chart Uh, to learn all these tricks so if you have not enrolled you can enroll now health and survival education economic participation and political empowerment okay so heap is the keyword for a uh, global gender gap then the score is like 1 and 0 one is equality and 0 is zero is inequality and india in the latest report it's telling india is the only country where the economic gender gap is larger than the political gender gap okay so economically uh, india is like doing bad okay So last question for today which of the following statements is are correct regarding smart india hackathon so 2017 it happens almost every year i think but the options were very easy and very silly so it was a direct easy question so if you see it's a centrally sponsored scheme for developing every city of our country into smart city okay so smart city has no connection with hackathon and this every city of our country into smart city is also a blunder so that is a wrong thing then it is an initiative to identify new digital technology innovations for solving the many problems faced by our country okay so this looks okay hackathon means something digital innovations you are doing to uh, save our country from many problems so it looks okay then it is a program aimed at making all the financial transaction in our country completely digital in a decade so all the financial transaction completely digital in a decade is a height of extreme okay so this is a blunder statement that is wrong and so answer is true only so like this logically if you take step by step up to 2017 the questions were very very easy okay if you you, you can understand from the way i am teaching itself because to then 18 19 to explain a concept to you i took some time but here it's like very very straightforward the language is very simple okay so that is how the competition is increasing every year upsc is going tougher by the year okay so these are the uh, packages for 2020 students so uh, any test which any subject which you are lacking you think like you have not prepared and this exam is like my do or die attempt and i have to clear prelims i have to give mains this year okay then you have to practice them very nicely through upsc standard mcq and that is guaranteed at twice as okay so if you want something just whatsapp me based on that you can get it okay 2021 please don't do this uh, shortcut quick by hearting concept you have to study in a disciplined way so enroll to the one year program where i'll give you the time table also and you can study like first study and then write okay 2020 students have studied already that is why they should go for this method okay so i'll come with the next video soon till then enjoy your learning thank you and have a nice day